Good evening and welcome to Kansas Smitty's. Um, it's Friday night. I hope you are settled in and happy and comfortable wherever you are. I've got a great band for you tonight. Uh, fronted up by Adrian Cox. You right, Adrian? Yay! Yay. Nice, nice. Uh, we also have Jazz Kayser on drums, Noah Stoneman on piano, and Daisy George. Daisy George on double bass. Um, cool. I'll catch up with you a little bit later. You're tuned in to Kansas Smitty's KSTV. We're live Tuesday to Saturday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, please do check out the donation button there. Uh, let the band know you're having a good time. And you can also, if you fancy opening up another tab on your browser, you can check out the, the Patreon platform there, which is uh, the best way you can support what we're doing. And also join the community there and get involved in the, in the discussion and conversation. Um, cool. I'll catch up with you later. Enjoy the show.
evening, everybody. Welcome to Kansas Smitty's. Is everybody okay? Everybody all right? Yeah, yeah that's all right. Um, it's fantastic to be able to um, play music for you, especially at this time. Uh, it's a very safe environment here, I must add. Um, we started this evening with a tune called Caravan, which uh, everybody knows, of course. And tonight, I've put together a program of music um, inspired by one of the greatest clarinetists, a guy from New Orleans, a man called Barney Bigard. I'll tell you a bit more about him as we go, but um, one of his most famous things was that uh, he was with Duke Ellington from 1927 until 1942. He did a 15-year stint, which is pretty good going, I would say. Um, and, of course, he played uh, with Louis Armstrong uh, and his All-Stars in the 40s and 50s and things like that. I think he even did a stint in the 60s as well. Um, but anyway, so that was a tune called Caravan. And we're going to carry on with a, uh, another tune that he recorded. I don't know when he recorded it. You can work that out for yourself. Uh, but this is a rarely heard piece. This is called Frolic Sam. One, two,
Sam. What a great tune that is. Which camera am I looking at? Can I look at this one? <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, how about that? You heard from all the band. Noah Stoneman on the, um, on the piano. <laughs> Must remember what instrument is what. Uh, Daisy George on the double bass. How about that? Swinging away. And of course on the drums, you all know her. That's Jazz Kesa right there. Um, my name's Adrian Cox. I think Jack might have told you that before. Um, anyway, we're going to continue now with a tune uh, that uh, Barney Biggard recorded. I'll tell you a bit more about Barney Biggard. Born in 1906 in New Orleans. He was taught by a fantastic clarinetist. Um, well, it was, a, it was a Creole clarinetist, uh, a man called, they were called the uh, Tio family. It was uh, Lorenzo Tio and Lorenzo Tio Jr. And they taught a lot of the clarinetists at that time, Johnny Dodds, uh, Sidney Bechet, people like that. And uh, Big Arb was one of, the, one of the pupils of them. And uh, he went and played with uh, Joe Oliver. He played tenor sax. He played alongside uh, Johnny Dodds and things like that. And then, of course, joined Ellington. Uh, but this is a great tune he recorded at one time. It was with Ellington, of course. It's called Clouds in My Heart. That's what it's called. <laughs> Clouds in my heart 
Daisy George on the bass. Yeah, yeah, in my heart. What a beautiful tune that is. Uh, how about that Daisy George on the bass and Noah Stoneman on the piano. Um, this next tune we're going to play for you is it's a, a good old standard, it's a good old favourite and it's a great, obviously great recording All Hail the Greatest Man Ever, Louis Armstrong. Um, there's a fantastic recording of it. This is called 12, 12 Street Rag. Um, yeah, it's a brilliant recording with uh, Cozy Cole on drums, I think it is. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you've all heard it, all you jazz fans watching. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm having an absolutely fantastic time. Are you having a good time? Yeah, yeah good. Excellent. <laughs> That's how it all works. We have a good time, then you have an even better time, you see. Anyway, this is the 12th Street Rack. Bit of piano in, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that there? One, two, three, four.
Aids, how you doing? <laughs> sound good to me. How's it sound to you guys at home? I hope you're uh, cheering, cheering Adrian, Jazz, Daisy, and Noah on from wherever you are. And um, I was, I was thinking as I was listening that um, this band's never happened before, right? No, it's no, never happened before. No. And uh, and our dear leader, um, my 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 partner in crime, uh, Jackamo Smith, who's um, away in the states now. Um, in the land of the free, uh, he he takes great care and attention at putting these bands together. And um, when we started Kansas Smitty's, uh, the venue back in 2015, um, we had this idea that we'd play God all the time and we'd pick the bands and you know we'd move people around and we'd really see what we could do. And we realised that actually that was really really hard. Um, <laughs> so we didn't actually get to do as much of that as we thought we would we would, um, and settled into a rhythm of booking bands and, and welcoming people in and everything else we did there for five years. But this new sort of iteration and this project and the space we have here has given us um, the room and given Giacomo, who takes, as I said, get great time kind of musically directing these bands, uh, the opportunity to, to put together bands that might not otherwise happen, um, that would stretch the performers uh, into new territory and, and bring different styles and... and uh, yeah, energy to the table. So I think tonight's a really good example of that, of a band that wouldn't have necessarily picked itself, um, but we picked it. So, you know, hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> I hope it's more like a, a heaven that this, the, uh, that, that I'm giving Giacomo a big, big head right now, making him a god over there. But, you know, I hope, it, I hope it's heaven, you're in, not <laughs> hell. Um, and I hope you guys are enjoying it at home. If you just tuned in, you're watching Kansas Smitty's, Kansas Smitty's TV. And uh, yeah, we've got another, another half, a, another set of music for you. If you're enjoying it, check out the Patreon, check out the donations, or tell a friend, send a tweet, do whatever feels good to you. Uh, spreading the word of what we're doing here is equally as valuable to us as any kind of uh, financial contribution you can offer. Um, cool, enjoy the show. Over to you guys in your Elysian fields. Thanks, Jack. Jack, everybody, give him a big hand. Works very hard all the time. <coughs> hey, I'll give you a hand. I'd just like to say that I had actually asked Giacomo if I could uh, play with Jazz, Daisy, and Noah. Did you know that? You're the power I was Yeah, you see. I tapped into Giacomo's inner feeling. Um, Barney Bigard, that's where we are. Um, so Barney Bigard made some recording. There's this guy, uh, another clarinetist in uh, in Paris called Claude Luter. I'm not very good at saying um, uh, other people's surnames that I don't know from different countries. So uh, apologies for my accent. But anyway, Claude Luter, he, he did a Luthier, Luthier, maybe that. Anyway, you all know it, doesn't matter. Um, he recorded stuff with Sidney Bechet and things like that. But he also did a, a lovely album with Barney Bigard. And this tune, it was a two clarinet thing. And... Uh, when Giacomo's back, we can do another two clarinet thing. Isn't that right, Giacomo? Yes, he's nodding. I can feel it. Um, anyway, and this is a tune called Sobbing and Crying in the key of E flat. Yeah. Well. 
Thank you. 
sobbing and crying. Woo! That's a good tune. I like that. Yeah. Uh, a bit of blues for you folks. Sorry, I'm having an absolutely fantastic time playing. Um, we're going to continue on now with a tune written by the great Jelly Roll Morton. And I'm going to have to tell you a secret. Um, well, it's not a secret. It's definitely not a secret because I'm going to tell you. Um, when I was putting together, I, I got a Barney Bigard album, a compilation, and I put it together. Well, no, I was listening to this compilation, and this next tune came on, which is Froggy More Rag, and it came on. And I immediately knew that it wasn't Barney Bigard on the record. It was my favourite clarinetist, Edmund Hall. Uh, but regardless of that, we're going to play the tune anyway, and I'm sure that Barney Bigard played it many, many times. This is Froggy More Rag. With no intro, just ba 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 and then that at the end as well. Ba 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 Froggy more rag. Crikey, I remember the first time I played that um, was uh, about 20, 20, 23 years ago when I was two years old. Um, <laughs> I played that with a band called the New City Jazzmen. We used to go to this pub called the Bluebell, and uh, it's down where the Bluebell Railway is. If you're, uh, if you're in the UK, you'll probably know that. Um, 
Anyway, it's a steam engine place. And we used to go every uh, once a month on a Monday night. There used to be a great band called the New City Jasmine. And I used to go and sit in with them when I was, when I was young. I was still smoking then. But um, anyway, what are we going to play next? Oh, this is a beautiful tune. Um, this is a tune that's written by uh, the great Barney Bigard. Um, I think you're going to love it. It's called Ready Eddie. <coughs> Ready Eddie. Um, how's it go? Oh, yeah, that's the one. Five, da, da, one, two, all right. You better want to, uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Thank you. 
beautiful tune. Ready, Eddie. I think that's, uh, that's definitely up there in my list of favourite tunes. Um, hey, folks, we've got time for a couple more tunes. We're going to play one and then uh, going to hand you over to Jack to tell you some more stuff. We're going to play one first. Um, but it's been an absolute treat um, playing uh, some of this music inspired by Barney Bigard and with this fantastic band, of course. Noah Stoneman on the piano, Daisy George on the double bass, Jazz Kaser on the drums. Um, and we're going to take this... Uh, we're going to... Well, we're going we're gonna to play two tunes. I've spoiled it now. We're going to play this one. Jack's going to talk, and then we're going to play another one. All right? That's how it goes. <laughs> and uh, this is a tune that um, I think it's written by Barney Bigard and Ellington. If it's not, doesn't matter. No one's going to change that. Um, and this is called Charlie the Chulo. The Chulo. C-H-U-L-O. Chulo? Chulo? Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Oh yeah. Oh well. Yeah, that one. <laughs>
Sally the Chulo. Jack, yeah. tell us something, Jack. <laughs> Had one. <laughs> All right. You have been tuned in to the sounds of KSTV. And uh, tomorrow night, we have our last show of the week. And unfortunately, my brain has completely ejected that information from itself. I was looking at it before, so I was in preparation. It must have been one of uh, Adrian's many witticisms that has caused it to leave my brain. Um, so I'm hoping someone's going to shout that out any minute. If you happen to have the programming calendar up, help me about, help me out, throw me a bone. But um, I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, please, wherever you are, give it up for Adrian Cox, Jazz Kayser, Daisy George, and Noah Stoneman. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure having this band here tonight. And uh, yeah, I hope, hope it's not the last time we see this quartet together. Is, is literally no one going to look at that spreadsheet and tell me who's playing tomorrow night? <laughs> like, I'll, I'll give you one minute to look at it. Anyone? It's amazing, isn't it? You know, we use Google Sheets. Everyone has access to it, but everyone just wants to like, leave me hanging, you know? Throw me a bone Is it too much to ask? Too much to ask? Oh, no. oh it is Dave Archer and Marcus Bonfanti. Of course it is. And they're going to be playing some music of uh, Dave Van Ronk, um, getting some like uh, finger picking um, stuff. It's going to be really beautiful. So tune in, 8 o'clock, KSTV. Um, I'm going to go and drink some green tea or whatever's going to enhance my memory. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. I think you've got one more tune for us, right? Yeah, we've got one more for you. Excellent. Once again. Thanks, Jack. Um, they call that a senior moment. Are you old, are you old enough for one of them yet? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, folks, it's been absolutely fantastic uh, to be able to play some music for you this evening and uh, with this fantastic band. Um, hopefully we can do it again soon. That's what we want to do. Um, and we're going to take this out with a tune, uh, which the thing is, I'm going to have to uh, introduce this tune it, uh, it's, it's a French title, and uh, it's Promenade. Ah, oh, crikey, this always happens to me. Au Champs de Elise. Ah, Champs de Elise. So please excuse my uh, French. <laughs> I am really sorry. Uh, but look, folks, it's been absolutely fantastic uh, playing for you. I hope you've enjoyed um, learning a bit about Barney Bigard, uh, one of the fantastic clarinetists. Go and check him out. He played with everyone. Um, yeah, superb. Anyway, we're going to take it out with this tune, and then we'll see you all soon. Please take care, folks. Um, yeah. Yeah, can I? Yeah. Right
folks. We'll see you next time.